Hi, I'm Tim. Have you tried to install Hacks, which is the Home Assistant Community Store integration into Home Assistant? Well, maybe you have tried before, or maybe you just want to know how. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add the Hacks integration into Home Assistant in a step-by-step -step instructional guide. So if you want to know how, keep watching this video and I'll show you. So here we are at the computer screen and let's get started. So the first thing you will see I've got open on screen is the github.com website. And what I've done is already created my GitHub account, which you'll need to do. So just go to github.com and set up a new account as you would with most other websites. So once you are logged into your GitHub account, you will see that I've got my account open. What you will need to do is switch to another tab in your internet browser. And what you need to do is open up your Home Assistant dashboard, as you'll see I've done on screen here. So to add hacks into Home Assistant, what we're going to do is go to settings at the left hand side. Once you're in settings, what you will need to do is select the add-ons option. You will see in the middle screen, we've got all the list of selections and you will see we've got add-ons. So select add-ons and then this will take you into the add-on screen and you will see at the bottom right we've got an add-on store button. So click add-on store then in the top right corner you will see three dots. Select this and then what you need to do with the pop-up menu that appears is select repositories. Then you'll see we've got manage add-on repositories open on screen in the pop-up window. So in the add box where your cursor should already be, what you need to do is type in HTTPS and then a colon and then two forward slashes. And then what we're going to do is type in github dot com and then forward slash and then hacks so it's h a c s and then forward slash and then add-ons so you should have in the ad box https colon forward slash forward slash github dot com forward slash hacks forward slash add-ons now what i will do is also leave this link in the video description so you can just copy and paste the full link into this ad box. So once you've typed in the GitHub and the link, what you need to do is select add. You should now see hacks add-ons repository. Now, don't worry about if you can't see Home Assistant add-on Zigbee to MQTT. This is what I will talk about in another video. So just ignore the Zigbee to MQTT repository here. So yours might not show up as Zigbee to MQTT, but what we want to make sure is that we have the hacks add-on repository showing there. So once you have that, click close. And then what you need to do is in your internet browser, you need to press Control and F5 to fully refresh your internet browser. This will then take you back to the add-on screen where you might see some add-ons listed, for example, File Editor, Mosquito Broker, or Zigbee to MQTT. You might not see any add-ons here, but it depends on your specific installation of Home Assistant. So once you get the add-on screen here, with or without any add-ons, you need to, in the top right corner, you'll see the arrow, click this to check for updates. Then what you need to do is in the bottom right corner, select the add-on store button. This will take you into the add-on store. So in the search box at the top, what you need to type in is get. So G-E-T and you should have a search result for get hacks. Now what you need to do is select this and this should take you into the get hacks screen. So once you're in the get hacks screen, you should see an install option here. So select this to install and then wait for the get hacks to install. This should only take a few seconds and once it has installed, you should see three options at the top. One is for info, one is for configuration and one is for log. So once you have the info, configuration and log at the top, what you need to do is select the start button. This should then start get hacks and you should see a green arrow in the top right corner of the window here. So once you have this, what you need to do is select log from the top. Then once you see the green arrow in the top right corner of the window, 
it means that get hacks is actually running so once it says that the add-on is running and you get a green arrow what you need to do is go to the left hand side and select settings then from the settings window that appears in the center of the screen what you need to do is select devices and services then in the bottom right corner you need to select add integration and then in the set up a new integration pop-up window that appears you need to type in hacks and this should bring a search result for hacks with a blue square and two little symbols next to it so select hacks and then with the pop-up window for hacks it should say before you can set up hacks you need to acknowledge the following so just tick all the boxes so there should be four boxes so tick them all and then select submit then you will see we've got a waiting for device activation box so what you need to do is open the link so click on the link and then it should open a device activation window for github so it's saying signed in so we're already signed in to github if you recall we set up our github account which you should do on your own and then we're logged into the github account as you'll see on the screen so we'll go back to the verify session tab and then what we're going to do is select the continue button for device activation then go back to your home assistant browser tab and you should see a code so what you need to do is highlight this code and then copy it and then go back to the device activation screen for github and then paste that code in there once you've done that you can then click continue and then it should say authorize hacks and then it will give you a message about authorization in a yellow box and all you need to do is select the authorize hacks button and then it should say congratulations you're all set your device is now connected so now that it's saying congratulations you can close the device activation tab window and then this will take you back to your home assistant browser tab and you should see a success message and it will ask you about the following devices which it's found if it doesn't say about any devices all you need to do is just click finish then you are taken back to the main integrations window where you should see various integrations that's if you have added any into home assistant of course but what you should see in there is the hacks card as you will see here we've got hacks with five services you may see more service numbers or fewer service numbers but you should see the hacks card so once you see hacks on the card here it means you have successfully installed hacks into home assistant at the left hand side menu you should now see hacks appear so we've got overview map energy logbook history file editor you may not have file editor showing but you should also see that you have hacks along with media to-do list and if you have zigbee installed then you would see zigbee but you should definitely just see hacks installed so to select hacks in future all you would do is click on hacks at the left hand side menu and this will take you in to the hacks integrations where you can use the search box to search for custom integrations which you can add into home assistant as you can see there are hundreds of integrations which are provided by the github community and which can be integrated into home assistant so that's how easy it is to add hacks into home assistant hope you were able to easily follow this video hope you found it useful and keep a lookout for more videos coming soon thanks for watching bye for now